this motherboard should not exist and I'll explain you why in just a minute. So first of all I need to contextualize how and from where I got this motherboard. I'm not that kind of person that loots the trash can but uh, I was walking the dog out when I saw a desktop PC right next to a trash can near my house. I was walking the dog out when I saw this thing on a trash can and I knew I had to take it because I don't like wasted technology but this is its powering and what is this? When I saw it, I decided that I, that I had to take it because I hoped that there was something so interesting like this mobile to make a video about. When I got my, uh, this PC home, the first thing I did was to open it up to see uh, what was going on inside and everything seems normal except one thing there was no power supply unit. So I inspected the motherboard to see what was going on and I saw that all the system was powered by a 19.5 external, external power brick. Unfortunately, I don't have this kind of connector, this kind of power brick, so I wasn't able to try it out and to see if it actually works. I'm not sure even right now that this works, but... See? There it's not. It's not even here. I wanna take a closer look at it because this is not the only strange thing. I wanna talk a little bit about this new series that I wanna bring to this channel, um, Unknown Tech. And I would like to talk about strange things about tech or maybe uh, lost projects from some companies, but everything depends on how much you like it, you like this video. So if you wanna see more videos like this, leave a like, subscribe, Leave a comment and share this video with your friends, but now let's jump into expecting this strange motherboard. Let's go. So, first things first, of course, we need to take out the heat sink. We just need to unscrew this for spring screws. Okay, here we place the heat sink and let's start to inspect this thing. Starting from the top, everything seems normal. Uh, this is a Pentium G 2030T. Oops. It's a pretty old processor. It's from uh, 2013, uh, second quarter. But this is pretty normal. The socket is an H61 from Intel, of course. And paired with four gigs of RAM of DDR3 RAM at 1333 no branding on it apparently but even this pretty old but easy this is normal but when you uh, look a little bit lower on the mobile you see an empty soldered slot something is missing right it has to be missing well at first, I thought that the north bridge was missing, but then I realized that what was missing was not the north bridge, because this is it. We can also have a look without the little heat sink. Here you go. This is the north bridge, as you can clearly see. Okay. So, what was, what is missing is the GPU. Yes, my friends, because this mobile should have a soldered on GPU directly on the mobile. This is really, really strange. If it was a laptop, this would be super common because most people aren't going to even open it. And in this way, everything is more compact and easier to cool. But this is the first time I see it on a desktop motherboard. 
if you look closer you can also see four slots for the VRAM right next to the main chip slot and also a syringe cylinder which is like a beeper let me zoom in a little bit these are the first slots for the VRAM and this is uh, the beeper for mobile errors, CPU errors and so on. Really confused, I decided to go on Google and look for the CPU but of course mostly the motherboard. This Pentium, as I already said, it's a, it's a G2030, two cores, two threads, 2.60 gigahertz, 3 megabytes of cache and a TDP of 35 watts. But of course this is not the strange part because a Pentium, pretty normal. This motherboard is an IPM61TB, as you can read from this writing right here, from HP. And the motherboard, which should be sold, and the GPU, which should should be soldered directly on the board, is an NVIDIA 705A. You don't know it. Yes, because it's a garbage GPU and nobody cares about it. <laughs> so just for context, a uh, 1030 is over 8 times as performant as this GPU, this missing GPU. And um, 1050 over 16 times as performant as this GPU. So the 705A was launched in July 1st, 2014 with an embarrassing 48 cores. <laughs> the GTX 1050 has 640 cores. And the build process is, of this missing GPU is at 14 nanometers, which is pretty big for GPUs and CPUs. It uses PCI Express 2 with, with 1024 megabytes of DDR3 memory at 1800 MHz. The clock speed is as fast as a dead raccoon because it's 465 MHz. The cake of this GPU is 128 kilobytes. Your calculator probably has more memory than this GPU. I would really really love to try this thing out to see if it's working at all, but both the missing power brick and the missing GPU of course are really big problems so unfortunately i cannot but let's now talk about what this thing could be for because it has to have a goal or like a special kind of products which it's in first of all of course it's in desktops like the one i found it in but this could also be a basic design from which hp models new mobos for laptops because the built-in GPU, the low TDP of this GPU is it's only 15 watts, the pretty low uh, TDP of the CPU only 35 watts, so 50 watts in general. It's not the lower but it's not the higher. Even the form factor of this mobile reminds me of a laptop. But this could also uh, be in something like security services. If you need a basic CPU, basic PC to elaborate data from uh, security cams, this could be a solution or something like this. But as I already said, I don't specifically know uh, in which products this is. So I could be wrong, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm really, really interested in uh, know what you think about this strange thing. If you've liked this, this video, leave a like, comment, share this video with your friends and subscribe.